Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone from the different parts of the world. Yes, welcome back to our YouTube channel of Seladuka Arafat. And today we are going to talk about what is cryptocurrency. We have been hearing about cryptocurrency. So if I come here on my search engine and I say, what is cryptocurrency? We want to know what cryptocurrency is because I believe Google does not lie. So if I come and I search what is cryptocurrency, let me search cryptocurrency. What is cryptocurrency? So they're showing us this definition, but let, let us go with this easier definition. So they're telling us that cryptocurrency is a digital currency. This is money that is in digits, like the money that you're having on your bank account or the money that you're having on your mobile money. Assuming if you're having $1,000 on your bank account or digital money, the money is reflected like this. It is $1,000. So if you're also having money in crypto form, the money is going to be reflected like this. But if you're having money on mobile money, you can only convert that money to the native currency that you're in. For example, I'm in Uganda. If I'm having mobile money in Uganda, I only convert this money to Ugandan shillings. But if I'm having cryptocurrency, this money is in crypto, I can convert to any currency as we are going to see. They're telling you that these digital currencies in which transactions, transactions means that you can send and you can receive this money. So people have been saying that cryptocurrencies, you only invest if it reaches time for withdrawing, you can't withdraw, you can deposit and withdraw money. So they're telling you that these transactions are verified. Verification is the process of establishing the truth accuracy and validity of something so this is here to show that something is working legally as i've told you it has been recognized legally so they're telling you that and records maintained by a decentralized system using cryptography rather than a centralized authority so simply this money which is in crypto form you are having full control on it on buying binance account if i'm having a thousand dollars no one will be able to interfere or to know how much i'm having so this is the first safety i'm having safety on my money no one will know my worth it's not like if i'm having physical money you can you can get to know that i'm having like a thousand dollars you take away this money from me with a binance you won't know how much i'm having even if you know how much i'm having you won't be able to transact this money because with mobile money if someone guesses your pin that person can withdraw your money so Crypto comes from the word encryption, which means safety. For you to withdraw money on this exchange, the Binance exchange, if I'm going to show you briefly, I come to the security. If I need to send or withdraw, they will need my pass key. This can be a fingerprint. This can be a pattern or a password of your phone. They will need an authenticator app. They will need an email a password so there are very many protocols where you have to pass through if you need to do any transaction imagine even they can require for your face id so those who have iphones you have face ids those with androids you have fingerprints if you don't put a fingerprint on your phone it won't open if your phone does not have a face you don't put your face id the phone won't open so this is the same thing with cryptocurrencies so google goes further and tells us that the decentralized cryptocurrencies such as bitcoin now provide an outlet for personal wealth that is beyond restriction and confiscation google is telling you that one of the ways on how you can accumulate wealth is in cryptocurrencies and this wealth is beyond restriction and confiscation so cryptocurrencies are not only digital currencies but these are digital assets these are assets which appreciate which can appreciate in value if you're having a thousand dollars in your mobile money or bank account it will still be a thousand dollars but if this money is in crypto form this money has to either appreciate or depreciate in value because these currencies can go down but can go up at the same time but the chances of increasing in value they are very high so this is how everything is going to work. So if you need to know more about cryptocurrencies, you can send me an email via my Gmail, sebadukaarafat9 at gmail.com or you can text me on WhatsApp on my contacts. You can text me on 070 80 50 So 
if you want to know the advantages on how you can on, on on what you're going to get if you're having a binance account because if you need to engage in these cryptocurrencies if you need to benefit from the cryptocurrency you need to have what we call a binance account so one of the things that you're going to get from the binance account you're going to get a platform where you can trade the cryptocurrency market and earn daily income away from your busy schedules as you're at your workplace as you're at a function as you are busy the binance platform where you have invested your money you can get daily income as we are going to see so here now the binance platform moved away this thing of trusting people with money because people know that cryptocurrency is something real but some people have been using it as an advantage to scam other people's money when you're having the binance platform you don't need to give anyone your money don't give anyone your money be with your platform trade by yourself so they're telling you that also the second issue is that you can keep any amount of money that you want on this binance platform without any restriction even if you need to keep there one million us dollars you can another thing you are having a hundred percent control over your money you can withdraw and send this money at any time but in many institutions like the banks and mobile money they have transaction limits which is not here on binance so you can send and receive money from any part of the world at low costs and at any time so also you can exchange money in any currency across the world for example you can move outside uganda you go to you go to for example you go to china then you exchange you exchange the money that you're having on binance so you don't have to use the forex bureau so if i go on wallets here and i come to funding i want to show you how you can exchange so on the top right you see where you, we have yugi x so here means that i am i want to change money from crypto to ugandan shillings and you see the payment methods these are the payment methods that we have here in uganda so if i click on where there is yugi x i try to change to other currency so they are showing you different currencies there are very many there are very many i can say that the great british pound so i can go to the great britain with my money in crypto form i reach great britain i just change my money from crypto form to any payment method in great britain so that is also another advantage that you are going to get another thing is that you get an opportunity to buy the digital assets which can appreciate in value imagine I'm going to give you an example. Let me just give you a simple example. We are going to, let me look at the price of Bitcoin at the start of this year. Let me look at the price of Bitcoin at the start of this year. The price of Bitcoin was at January, it was at 42,000 US dollars. 42,000 US dollars. But if I search for the price of Bitcoin right now, let us see. How much is each Bitcoin right now? Each Bitcoin is at 66,000 US dollars. Imagine. So, for example, you can say, if you invested $5,000, I'm going to divide by the price at which each Bitcoin was in January. It was at 42,000 US dollars. So, assuming you had $5,000 and you invested in Bitcoin in January, so you would have got 0.1 one nine bitcoin so each bitcoin is at sixty six thousand us dollars let me multiply by sixty six thousand so meaning that your five thousand dollar investment would have been five thousand eight hundred dollars right now you would have made profits of two thousand dollars in just five months towards the end of the year and next year each bitcoin is projected to be at fifty one hundred and fifty thousand us dollars so imagine your five five thousand dollar investment how much it will be you are not paying taxes here your money is safe you're not paying rent no one is going to take away your money so today i wanted to talk about some of the advantages of you of having and owning a binance account so for more information you can contact me on plus two five six seven zero eight fifty fifty five four zero seven zero eighty fifty fifty five four or 
you can send me a message via my email that is sebaduka arafat9 at gmail.com you can find it on my youtube page yes